Hi, I'm Darren and today I'm meeting the chef that's bringing Indian street food, specifically from Mumbai, to Vancouver. My friend Chef Tushar at Mumbai Local will be walking us through his personal journey, some behind the scenes action, and mouth watering dishes. Let's go! And I'm with Chef Tushar today. Hello, so Darren. Thanks for uh, <laughs> coming to Mumbai Local. Yeah, you might remember Chef Tushar who uh, joined me in my previous video at Mac and Ming's uh, pop-up with Tim Schult. And so I decided to stop by and just check out the incredible food that he's bringing to Vancouver. I just wanted to take some time and talk about how beautiful the interior of this restaurant is. So this, all the elements here are from streets of Mumbai. Mm -hmm. And there are some elements of Davy Street as well, like uh, shoes are hanging on the wire. And, uh, and it's hand painted, the mural is hand painted by the owner's wife, mm -hmm. uh, Shraddha. And uh, she is uh, an amazing artist. You can see that we want it to be a little bit uh, different than others, which will be focused on street food and food from my culture, my background, which is a small village uh, it's next to Goa. The big city around is Goa, the state. Mm -hmm. And uh, the village name is Malwan. This, this two dishes is uh, from Malwan. And uh, yeah, you, you can't get this uh, at a lot of uh, restaurants, even in India, even mm -hmm. in Mumbai. And it's not until you go to uh, that village. That kind of brings us towards what do we have today? So we have a chicken dish, uh, which is called Komdi Vade, and a fish dish, which is called Fish Amti. And uh, the Komdi Vade is uh, it's cooked all in one pot. Mm -hmm. Well, I just take, but I cook the chicken uh, separately. So it, I sous vide the chicken, so it's like nice and tender, and then sear the skin, so it's crispy. And I make the curry base is from uh, caramelized onion and coconut, mm -hmm. and uh, Malwani masala, which I do in house. Right. And uh, yeah, it's served with uh, the traditional vade, which is made from uh, rice flour, lentil flour, and right. sorghum flour, mm -hmm. and uh, it's deep fried. For the sable fish, we have uh, serving with some fermented rice and coconut pancake. It's uh, fermented overnight with uh, just rice flour, coconut mm -hmm. milk, and water. That's it. With some uh, fish amti is made from uh, fish stock, onions, tomatoes, ginger, garlic, chili, and wow. very uh, special citrus fruit goes in it, which is only found in that region called Malwan. Okay. of India mm -hmm. uh, called kokum. It is pinkish in color and uh, which gives the acidity and uh, a distinct taste of that uh, region in that curry. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm using sable fish is because uh, most of the fish in Mumbai or in India are uh, very uh, buttery and rich and sable fish is the only fish I can I feel like it's very rich and buttery like which is which can go along with the curry very well so I'm using sable fish for that with some burnt shallots and some tomatoes Wow so how do you uh, normally eat everything in uh, Indian kind of like the Indian way or oh, Indian way is stuff. just no spoons and fork Oh, okay. Just hands. Just go <laughs> with your these. hands. <laughs> but we'll use, we'll use spoons and forks. So. Okay. Yeah. We, it's very messy. Oh, okay. We Indians don't even care. They they eat with uh, their hands in it, even in the restaurants. Oh. Yeah. And this chicken was sous vide, so it's sous just ultra tender, and the knife just cuts right through it. It's getting super crispy because yeah. I guess you first uh, seared it mm -hmm. and then after finished it in the uh, oven. So the oven helps to crisp up the skin slowly in specific temperature. Mm. And the curry is just super rich, kind of has this like almost like buttery kind of taste to mm -hmm. it. And it's like nicely, the onions nicely kind of cut out the richness. And the sweetness from the coconut. I grew up eating this every Sunday. Mm. My mom would cook this every Sunday. The next dish that we're looking at is the sable fish. And this is absolutely gorgeous. It just flakes away. Um, and sable fish is also known as black cod, which black is cod. a very 
very nice fish that is used in a lot of different cuisineries. Um, one of my favorite interpretations of black cod is also like the miso black cod, and this is my first oh, time. Miso. Yeah, miso is very staple. It's so Vancouver. <laughs> Everyone has that miso, 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 miso. Like, and people love it. Yeah, yeah. Every, most of the region is famous. Mm-hmm. And then, so actually, this is my first time having uh, black cod or sable fish, sable fish. in uh, Indian food. And so, just because so you can see how, uh, like, just j it's so nice and tender. That, <laughs> that's also all over my hands. But. And it just falls apart. Mm. Oh, that's so good. It's my favorite fish. Black or yellow, mine is one. Some of the Indian fish are really love and messier. Mm -hmm. Sometimes once in a while, when I go to TNT, I, I find some. <laughs> yeah. Vancouver has TNT. It actually originated in uh, Vancouver, I think, right? The first TNT. Yeah? The first TNT opened up in Vancouver. How do you compare this to miso? Oh, it's completely different styles, but I think what's nice is that the curry here isn't over, it isn't overbearing. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of just complements and adds to the richness and the butteriness that the fish already has. Exactly. Yeah. And this is a rice patty, right? Rice. Fermented rice and coconut. Fermented rice. And you get that a little bit of the, the sourness, sourness in there. Yeah. 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 It's a little bit tangy, but still it's super rich because coconut. Coconut. Oh. And super fluffy. Mm hmm. Not too gluey either. Yep. You too. And the tomatoes here are also just super soft. They were uh, boiled in the curry, and as you can see, it can just like it just breaks apart here. <laughs> we have a plate under here. <laughs> and who's the biggest inspiration behind your cooking? My inspiration comes from my family mostly. My mom, my grandmother, and uh, my travels to India. Whenever I go traveling to India. Yeah. I'm usually learning from my friend's mom mm -hmm. or going to the going to the small uh, small restaurants which is which where the where they're not too famous mm -hmm. but the food is really, really good right and so Mumbai local is a pretty new restaurant it uh, is open know, yeah it's we're still on our first year right <laughs> first year eight, eight months, months. Yeah. Yeah. Eight months. Um, congratulations firstly but thank you what were you doing before uh, Mumbai Local? Before Mumbai, I in Vancouver, I was working uh, in uh, fish house in Stanley Park, then Blue Water Cafe, Bar House, that's where I met Tim, right, and we became right. friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, then Besto was my last job in Vancouver. Yep. Then uh, after that, I went to uh, work in Gagan, it's a two Michelin star restaurant oh, wow. in uh, Thailand. So I uh, did my training there for wow. two months, which we were. I knew where it's inspired me to cook Indian food more because Gagan is the only place where I would cook Indian food but modern Indian, like very uh, super modernized which I have never cooked before right. and I have never seen Indian food going to that level, 25 courses of Indian food. What do you do outside of the kitchen? Outside of the kitchen I'm usually in the nature, <laughs> hiking, hiking or camping and uh, cooking a lot in campfire right. or call a bunch of my friends at home and like cook for them like a family meal but very uh, like traditional dishes of uh, India yeah. from India but from different regions so every time we do something uh, new with like a bunch of my friends or, mm -hmm. or in a camping camping trip. What, what do you bring with you when you're camping? Because I know camping food usually consists of like <laughs> wiener and like the spider no, dogs or no, whatever. No. <laughs> when I, so I'll give you an example of my last camping trip. Yeah. We did, uh, I went with uh, Tim. Yeah. Tim and like a bunch of my friends. We were like um, eight people, eight of us. Mm -hmm. And we took like a whole uh, goat leg. And I did a goat biryani. Biryani is like a layered uh, rice mm -hmm. and uh, meat with uh, saffron, a lot of spices, caramelized onion, mint, cilantro. But we did it in a big pot because I didn't have like a steamer or anything, but we did it in a big pot, like cook the meat first and then cook yeah. the rice, put it up on top, layered it. So it was like a big uh, family meal of yeah. uh, goat, goat biryani. 
Gotta take me camping sometime. <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent. That was delicious. Uh, delicious. That was delicious, chef. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. All right. We can do something fun. Toodles. <laughs> If you made it this far, thank you very much for your time. If you liked the video, press the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe. I'm really excited over the next few weeks to bring you a lot of really cool content. So stay tuned.